Hi everyone, I'm Sue and welcome back for another episode of Does This Notion Really Work? But in today's episode, we're going to be trying out something a little bit different. In fact, it's not really a notion at all. It's actually a lotion. It's called Gloves in a Bottle and it's designed for all kinds of people, including sewers. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below. That way you don't miss another video. So today, instead of does this notion really work, I guess it's more like does this lotion really work? So a few months back, Heidi and I were out of town and we love to go and try out new quilt shops in areas that we don't live in. And when we were in a quilt shop, my daughter Heidi actually found a little sample of the gloves in a bottle. I asked the store staff and they swore by it. They said, take a sample and if you love it, you know, let us know. But they all used it for their sewing and crafting needs. And to be honest, I am a total lotion junkie. I probably put lotion on my hands at least four to six times a day, maybe more sometimes. When it's the first thing in the morning, I guess that's okay, but like throughout the day as I'm putting lotion on and I'm next to the computer, which is unfortunately where I spend most of my time, I put the lotion on my hands and then I have that like greasy, you know, mixture of skin and lotion left over. So I, I kind of wipe it off on my shirt or my pants or you know a tissue or something. But that's kind of why this gloves in a bottle really intrigued me. And I am really excited about telling you what my thoughts were on using it for the past week. I also wanted to say that not only did I get the gloves in a bottle, I also found that they have a gloves in the bottle with an SPF 15. But today we're going to primarily talk about the gloves in the bottle, the original packaging. So let's go ahead and take a look. When you first go to use it, you're going to notice that once you remove the cap, there's a little silver topper and um, you're just going to need to remove that and I've already done so. The bottle I have is a 3.4 ounce, but it is also sold in a 2 ounce and an 8 ounce container. It is referred to as shielding lotion and it actually bonds with the outer layer of skin cells to create an invisible shield, kind of like a pair of gloves. It will not wash off, but instead it comes off naturally with exfoliated skin cells, in turn retaining your own natural moisture. So I don't know about you, but I tend to like smell everything before it goes on my skin or goes in my belly. So we're gonna go ahead and take the sniff test. And it, it's very light, it has a, I don't even think there's really a fragrance to it, but like when I smell it, it kind of reminds me of kind of like melons, I don't know, like watermelon. It doesn't say that anywhere in the packaging, but that's what it reminds me of. It's a very faint, um, so if you have any uh, adversions to fragrances or smells, I think you should be safe with this because I'm really sensitive to smells and this doesn't have any after smell at all. It's very, it's very light and clean. So let's go ahead and apply it. And to do that, you're just gonna open it up and squeeze out about a pencil eraser size on your hand. I would say maybe per hand, it needs about that much. Make sure you do this on dry hands too. And work it well and allow it to dry completely into your skin. Now you'll notice that it is white, but it does not have uh, that greasy, thick feeling. It's actually quite thin. And I do have to say that I found like I needed to apply it every, it says to apply it every four hours for continued protection. And honestly, I feel like it needs that maybe every three hours because I like a little bit extra moisture. So if you've watched my videos in the past, you will know that I love to find out why a product was created. Did it fix a problem? Did it uh, create something new for the market? Like what was the reason? So this story is no different. It's actually really fascinating. So in the early 90s, the founder, Dan Mueller, was involved in the mining industry. And he was watching these miners put this like thick, gooey gunk stuff on their skin before they would put their gloves on their hands to do the work. And basically that gunky stuff was protecting their skin just in case there might be like a tiny hole in their gloves against the mining irritants. Now Dan thought that was fascinating and figured like wow I wonder who else could use this. So he started working with doctors and scientists and chemists and he created this product gloves in the bottle. 
Now, originally it was only sold in hardware stores, craft stores, uh, garden centers, but then uh, doctors started getting a hold of it for treating their patients who had really extreme skin conditions. But the doctors didn't want to like say, hey, yeah, go to your local hardware store and pick up this stuff that I, as a doctor, am recommending. So what they did was they found a way to get the gloves in the bottle into the pharmacies, which made it a little bit easier to recommend your patients to go and get this product that's gonna help your skin. So what is gloves in a bottle really then? Well, it's not just a lotion or a cream. It's actually advertised as a shielding lotion. It's essentially protecting your skin against irritants and locking in that moisture. And it acts as a pair of gloves, protecting the entire skin cells. Oh, and another fun fact, it's made in the USA. On the back of the packaging, though it's really kind of hard to read this, I probably need my glasses, but I did want to read to you, it says, you know, it's for dry and irritated skin, um, eczema, psoriasis, cracked feet, and it is diabetic friendly, which I think is really interesting. If you use a lot of hand sanitizers or surgical scrubs, um, if you wash your hands frequently, this helps protect against it, and home and work irritants, like cleaning products. So if you are a maid or if you use your hands with chemicals or an artist and you put your hands right into the paints, that kind of thing, this is really going to protect your skin. And remember, it's not going to wash off, so it's going to stay on your skin and give you that extra protectant. So who's gloves in a bottle for? Really, it's for anybody that has hands. We've already covered you know, some of the different skin conditions, but let's go back to the sewers. Why do sewers like this? because it protects their fingers and helps secure in that moisture. So any crafter, if you're working with yarns or threads or even paints, all kinds of different textures, these crafters really like gloves in the bottle because it helps protect their skin. Just be sure that when you apply it, that you give it a chance to dry at least, I would say, like five minutes before you start working on your project. Where can you get gloves in a bottle? Everywhere. It's in so many big box retailers like Walmart, it's in pharmacies. I like it. I actually saw it at my independent pharmacy. Uh, it's, so it's really everywhere. Of course, check with your local craft or sewing shop and see if they have it. And if you still can't find it locally, then we've got some links in the description below. I've also got a coupon code for you for Amazon and they do sell it at jet.com too. So how much does gloves in a bottle cost? Well, depending on the size, it can vary, but the 3.4 ounce size that we're using today ranges between $7.99 and $9.99. So you're probably wondering, well, Sue, does this lotion really work? And for me, I'm gonna definitely give it a thumbs up and say yes, because I already use lotion a lot throughout the day. And then, like I said earlier, I'm kind of stuck with that like greasy feeling on my fingers and having to wipe it off. With the gloves in the bottle, I'm not having that. So for me, it's a definite win. Comparatively in price, um, I usually spend a few dollars on lotion and I keep them throughout my house and I use them. So now I'm gonna just try and stick with this. I've already used it for an entire week and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm gonna give it like the month long test as well. And remember I talked about earlier is their new SPF 15. So now where would you use this? I mean obviously you'd use it in place of you know like a sun protectant. It has on the back packaging it's lightweight and fast absorbing and, and yes it definitely is. Um, it's durable sun protection that shields the skin. It won't clog your pores and it protects against pollutants and irritants. So I have to say that I've also used this for the last few days. I don't always look as fabulous as this. Um, I usually just wear like a light coat of you know powder on my face if I'm just doing errands so what I did was for the last week I've been putting this on my skin with nothing else on some days and on other days putting just like a little bit of powder on top of it not at any point did I feel like it was heavy it's very light and thin so I really liked that for it also if you have children and they go to school a lot of times nowadays that the schools or the day camps are telling us to send some lotion with your child or put it on them ahead of time again this would be a really great option for that so give it a try well, if you enjoyed this lotion of the day review, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That way you don't miss another video. And if you like behind the scenes kind of stuff, you know, like chats and live videos, go ahead and subscribe to me on my other social media channels. I've got Instagram, 
Pinterest, and Facebook. If you have other notions or products that sewers and crafters could take advantage of and use, if you know about some or if there's some that you'd like to learn more about, leave those in the comments and that way I can start working on those videos for you as well. Well, until I see you next time, I hope you have a creative day. Bye-bye. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.